Welcome back, everyone. Governor Ron DeSantis signed off on property insurance legislation intended to stabilize costs and make it easier for you to get and keep insurance. Homeowners and insurers are hoping the bipartisan changes will bring relief for customers and for companies who either can't pay out claims or are considering leaving the state. Here are some of the details. The bill includes a provision banning insurers from automatically denying coverage if the roof is less than 15 years old. You guys got hit by that this year. Insurers also have to provide policyholders with some type of explanation if they deny or partially deny a claim. Now, this comes as a crucial time. We've been talking about hurricane season starting next week, which sometimes highlights this problem and exacerbates it even more. Joining me now is Mark Friedlander with the Insurance Information Institute. Hi, Mark. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. Yeah, this is a complicated issue. It seems there just isn't really enough money to go around. The new law does create this $2 billion reinsurance to assist policyholders program. So how will that work and help out folks? That's an emergency uh, stopgap for insurance companies that have been unable to get reinsurance coverage for hurricane season. And reinsurance is basically insurance for insurance companies. It's a backstop to prevent them from completely depleting their reserves if we suffer a major loss such as a hurricane. Because that's what's happened. I mean, I know as a customer, I have felt it, but these insurance companies, they've had to leave because they've had billions of dollars in loss. So in turn, if they have access to that money, how do they pass that savings on to the customer? Well, potentially they could purchase this or be, you know, uh, I guess allowed to use or tap this fund and the fund is actually less than what it would cost them on the private market. So that would be an avenue to pass along savings to customers. But at this point, this is so new, we don't really know how exactly that's going to work. But that's what the bill has, a potential to pass savings along to customers. All right. So let me ask also, because I saw in there that there are grants up to $10,000 that some homeowners can get to shore up their homes. Yes, a home hardening program is a two-for-one type of grant. So, for example, say the homeowner invests $3,000 in fortifying the roof or installing a wind-rated garage door or wind-rated windows for hurricane season, they will get $6,000 in grant money if they qualify. Uh, there's all types of rules and regulations for how to get the grant, but if you qualify, potentially you could get uh, double what you invest in terms of grant funds. Yeah, that would certainly be helpful. Let's talk about the right now. You know, Democrats have expressed concern because these premiums likely won't drop for another 12 to 18 months. Republicans agree with that timeline as well. So is there any immediate relief that people will see after the signing? Well, unfortunately, no. The leaders of the Senate talked about this repeatedly this week at the special session. And while they're very hopeful about 18 months down the road, there will be some relief for homeowners. They wouldn't guarantee that. They're just hoping that all of the new regulations that are being put in place will start the road toward stability of Florida's very precarious insurance market. And it will be a payoff in the long term with savings for homeowners and more stability for insurance companies. You know, I, I feel like in Florida, I know at least here in Northeast Florida, we've had a bit of a break with hurricanes, but that's not guaranteed. I mean, we're just gonna see bigger and worse storms coming through the state of Florida. So let's talk about if this is a Band-Aid or does it really have long-term potential to help a problem that just seems to plague Florida? Well, part of it's a Band-Aid. Certainly the new reinsurance fund is a Band-Aid because that's pretty much a lifeline to several insurers in order for them to continue to operate as hurricane season is just a few days away. But many of the other regulations will be more longer term and will help build the stability that we need in our market. All right. If you had to say in just 20 seconds what you think the solution would be, you got any thoughts on that? It's really tough. I mean, there are so many problems with the market. We knew going into the session, this would not be a cure-all. We understand that. But you need to start to take steps in the direction of stability. All right. Well, they passed this in three days, so everyone seemed to think this was important. So we'll see what happens, especially over the next year. Mark, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me.